Okay, uh, good morning yeah, everyone. So today our topic is, I am going to ask you one uh, question. Uh, why in many electronic gadgets, uh, we are not uh, using alternate current? Because uh, originally we have alternate current in our uh, home and you know, in our workplace. But uh, the many of the electronic gadgets like uh, obviously mobile phones and uh, any iPad, anything, laptop, so that needs, that does not need the AC current, that is alternate current. So that means that there is some technical challenges is there, right? So what could be the challenge? Uh, in electronic components we use uh, chips so that we, when, whenever we use AC current it gets damaged so that uh, DC current is used to uh, consist of very small and tiny components, electronic components. So it can be damaged, large fluctuation is not able to correct. Okay. okay, very good. As uh, you both said the correct answer. So, the direct current uh, in AC, alternate current, the name itself uh, uh, it has the meaning that is alternate. So, that means positive and negative. So, there is a fluctuation between two states on, I mean, uh, uh, positive and negative. So, that uh, changes cannot be adapted in the uh, integrated circuits because uh, in many, in the, uh, almost all the electronic gadgets which consist of uh, IC chips, VLC chips, so it cannot be able to recognize and uh, able to adapt the uh, alternate current. So we need some uh, alternative option for this challenge, right? So that we have a direct current. As you said, direct current is correct. So, but we have originally we have alternate current, right? So in many power plants like hydropower plant uh, and wind, wind mill. So there are so much of uh, sources are there. In every sources we are obtaining the AC only, right? So how the AC is being converted to DC. It's a rectifier. Very good. Uh, so AC current converted into that. Okay, very good. So we have uh, done the achievement also by using PM junction diode. We have in your second semester also we, have, we might have uh, completed this experiment. That is a rectifier. So rectifier which converts actually a AC to alternate current to yeah. not actually direct current, pure direct current. It is a pulsating DC. This name is pulsating DC. Again the pulsating DC will be converted to pure DC by means of some filter circuits. So this is the concept. So uh, with previously, the before the electronics era, uh, we had a many, I mean, biggest uh, uh, components, electrical components. In the electrical components, obviously, that needs only alternate current. When, once the uh, VLSI chips, uh, that is very large scale integrated uh, circuits were invented, at the time, that needs very, very less power, uh, power to trigger the operation. So at the time only they have, uh, they think of this alternate current, how to convert the alternate current to this direct current. So that time only the rectifier plays the vital code. So rectifier which obviously rectifier with filter and uh, regulator circuit which converts AC to DC. So that uh, in many, some in, in many electronic components uh, like some, some components inbuiltly we have uh, rectifier circuit so automatically when you plug into the AC that will automatically directly convert the AC current to DC current. Some require some external uh, I mean adapter or something else like mobile uh, charger right so that converts the uh, AC to DC. So this is the uh, challenges why we are not able to use the alternate current in, for the electronic engines okay. So hope uh, this uh, conversation uh, gives you the uh, knowledge right uh, about um, so this is actually a case study that's a case study means what the challenges we have discussed right so what's the challenges we are facing for alternate current right so and uh, one more thing while we are using the dc direct current can we able to power up the uh, uh, some uh, your fan or any electrical common by means of dc uh, a small complex is applicable for okay. larger components, DC cannot be adapted. Okay, very good. And uh, here, uh, when we are discussing these two things, AC and DC, we, we have some one important thing that is what is uh, that's electrical and electronics, right? These two uh, I mean, words play the main, main role. So, what is the difference between these two? Electrical and electronics. Smaller component, yeah, yeah, that's correct. Again, some fine. Uh, in electronics, we use AC current. In electrical, we use AC current. In electronics, we use DC. 
BC, then any other else? Yeah, this is the very important point. So electronics means that it uses the semiconductor and electrical that means conductor. So when, when we are going to discuss about the semiconductor, semiconductor has two states. When, when some input voltage exceeds some points, that semiconductor will automatically conduct. If uh, the voltage is below that uh, point, right, the threshold point, then automatically it will be an off, off state. So on and off state will be possible in the semiconductor. Whereas in your conductor, in your electrical, that is fully deals with the conductor. So conductor means whatever the voltage you are giving, that will be able to conduct immediately. So there is no decision making in the electrical. But in case of electronic, there is some decision making process. That means if it is larger than this voltage, we can conduct. It can conduct. If it is lesser than this, it won't conduct. So there is a decision making is uh, available in your electronics. So that's a Main thing, main difference between these two concepts. Okay, so thanks for this uh, wonderful discussion. Thank you.